Hello everybody, Cody McIntyre here from Boss Poses 3D and today we're going to be looking at something really cool. So today we're going to be inspecting anything we do with inside Blender. We can create our own world, our animations. We can watch them all within VR and we can inspect the model with our touch controllers. So this is fully uh, motion control compatible. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously get your headset connected to either Steam VR or Oculus. I find Steam VR works best. So I have an Oculus Quest 1 connected to a virtual desktop, and then that's connected to Steam VR. As you see, we do have Steam VR running in the corner. Headset and controllers are connected. The next thing you're going to want to do is enable the VR add-on. So as you see inside your prefences and you uh, go into your search, you want to type VR, and you'll see this VR scene inspection. This is default with inside Blender, so all you want to do is click check and just enable that. And then you're pretty much good to go to view that and scene if you have Steam VR connected. So what I'm actually going to do now is uh, go and press my N key. And I'm going to bring up the side panel. And at the bottom, you're going to see VR. Okay. So there's a few. Uh, there's one setting you want to make sure you click. That way you can see it within uh, your viewport if you are recording or something like that like I am now. So I'll show you the recorded version from the 2D uh, platform. Uh, sorry, uh, the computer. And then I'll show you the recording from my Oculus Quest. It should look exactly the same. So what I'm actually going to do is click Mirror VR Session. So when we hit Run, this will mirror to everything we see there, okay? So what I'm actually going to do is hit v Start VR Session. And as you see, we are within the session, but we are inside our object. So what I'm actually going to do is just take my motion controls, as you see here, and I'm just going to scale this down. And as you see... We get a really clear view of what's going on. Okay, now this is what it looks like inside the Oculus Quest compared to... You see, we are in just a giant plane, and we could walk around the world if we really wanted to. If we could scale this Doom up just a little bit on the computer, we can make it real-world signs, but I made it really small for 3D printing. So as you see, when we blow up the model, now we go around, and it is absolutely massive. We can actually see details that we didn't see before. So if I go under the cape, I made this error on this model on purpose. I detached the head. As you see, we can actually get a really good peek. And the cool thing is, is that we can actually go inside of the model, right? So as you see, our model is completely hollow. So we can now, we have an idea of what's going on with our figure for 3D printing, getting errors and stuff. You can easily download a model. You can blow it up and see that we have a whole bunch of errors to fix, right? So this is a view that you normally do not get with... Uh, just using Blender, right? So what we can do is just look over here, look down the arms. We can come back over here. We can look down the other arm. We, hell, we could even go into the arm if we really wanted to. So right now I'm inside of the fingers and I'm just getting a good look at everything that's going on. So what I can do is just blow it back out just to prove that we were inside the model there. And as you see, we got a really, really cool view of uh, our model in VR, which I find is amazing, right? So even our base, I made this cube hollow, we can go inside of it, and as you see, we have an empty room. So if this was a lot smaller, I would be able to walk around and I could turn just kind of like a video game, right? Wherever my head goes, I look down, I hold up, down, up, down, forward, straight, etc. You blow up the model, go in, right? So I found this super cool, so I'm gonna be doing that, and as I said, I would be showing you guys what it looks like with inside of the headset, and I'll be adding this onto the video as well. So let's continue. My headset, hit stop VR session, and we are completely stopped from using the Oculus. And now we can actually just go back and start sculpting on our model, hit VR session again, and we can go back in and check it out. Thank you all for tuning in to today's tutorial. If you liked it, please do like and subscribe. i got plenty of cool things on my channel. And love y'all, and see you all soon.